In today's video, I'm super excited to share with you guys a speaker upgrade that I found for our Ram pickup trucks. This probably could work for other Mopar vehicles, but this is something I stumbled across and I wanted to share it with you guys. So right here on the bench, you guys are gonna see two speakers. So originally, this truck right here, it was a Tradesman Express. It just had these base model speakers in it. It only had two of them. And to try to make a very long story as short as possible, we upgraded it to the 8.4 Uconnect, factory amplifier, upgraded dash, upgraded uh, harness behind the dash, and so now it's running the premium sound system. But I only had these two speakers. This speaker here, as you can see here, it's got the uh, Chrysler logo on the back. I will link these down below, but this is a speaker that came on the factory, and I'm pointing at this, but this is gonna make sense in a second, the factory Harman Kardon system that would come on one of these well, not this, but on a newer Charger Challenger. And we ended up getting the wrecked Charger SRT Hellcat, and we ended up putting everything into this truck. I had a bunch of these left over because I couldn't fit them in the front here. We kind of ran out of space. So I had a bunch of these, and you know the other vehicle had four doors. I only have two. So I ended up having an excess of these, and I figured, why not try these in place of these really basic, you know, cheap-looking speakers? And I'm here to tell you guys that the sound output is insane, you guys. So I also have a Ram Eco Diesel with the premium Alpine stereo system in it with this factory subwoofer, which actually has an upgraded subwoofer. So um, I do like sound, but this is a huge improvement so much that I'm probably gonna do it to the Eco Diesel as well. So let me spin this around and show you guys inside here and uh, show you guys a sound comparison. All right, so here's the inside of this Ram. If you guys are new to the channel, we just finished putting a premium dash pad in here with the leather stitch. It had a plastic one in here and we upgraded it to the 8.4 Uconnect. It just had the base model stereo in here and it only had the two speakers in the corner, those two that I just showed you over there. It had one here and one over there. So I needed three with the upgraded sound system. And so right now I have the upgraded speakers in here. I'm gonna do my best to try to get the audio to come through. As you guys know, this is through a camera, so I'll try a couple different ways to film this and try to capture the sound quality difference, but essentially, if I can describe it as easily as possible, if I put this like halfway across, if you guys know what I'm talking about, if you have one of these systems, by the time you get to like volume level like 25 and up, it kind of, the sound doesn't seem to change. It just, you know, from volume 25 up until max, it pretty much the volume doesn't increase but right here at 25 the volume is almost ear piercing and it will continue to get louder all the way up to max which honestly sounds insane and it doesn't distort it doesn't crackle it's not clipping um i'm sure you guys could probably achieve that if you really want to but i haven't been able to do that but the sound quality is hugely improved so let me go ahead i already have the three premium ones in here I'll try to put on some no copyright music so that I can try to capture the volume for you guys. And then I'll put in the standard two boring ones in the corner here and we'll do a comparison and then we'll go back to these. So I actually had to unplug my mic because it was clipping out. It was so loud in there and it uh, doesn't always happen. 
But anyways, that's what it sounds like. Hopefully you guys can get somewhat of an idea of what it sounds like with that. I did actually get it to distort just a little bit uh, on that song there. I don't know if you guys could hear it a little bit in the video, but right around the 27, 28 mark, it was distorting a tiny bit, but you could continue to push it louder. I have cranked it even more on a few songs that weren't copyright free, so I'm not too sure on the actual quality of that song compared to you know a mainstream song that's you know got millions of dollars probably spent on it. But uh, it's nonetheless, it does sound really good. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm not gonna bore you guys with swapping them out. Just keep in mind that I only have two, so it's kind of a little bit of a disadvantage. I could theoretically leave one of those in there and then just put two uh, of the crappy ones, but I don't have three of them, unfortunately. So you're gonna have to do it with that. So I'm gonna put in the other two, but it's like night and day difference. So let me swap those over. Okay, so I just swapped over the corners and you can see I have all three of these uh, Harman Kardon supplied ones out. I might plug in the center one just to give you guys a bit of a fair comparison, but I'm telling you guys, it is such a sound difference. Let me go ahead and show you what it sounds like with just these two regular speakers in the corner. just one of these you guys will instantly hear the volume change all right ready see how quiet it is hear that clean sound And since I know somebody's gonna say something, John, you're adding a third speaker, that doesn't count. So I'll unplug this one and I'll plug in this one in, in its place. You ready? So let's turn up the volume a little bit. comparison you guys all right so hopefully the audio picked that up on the camera I know it's really hard to always recreate audio coming through a device like this but just the volume changes you guys could probably and hopefully hear between just the regular speakers versus those other models again they're both Chrysler products uh, both have Chrysler part numbers but huge difference in sound so I think I can probably scruff up another three. I'm gonna go ahead and probably make a second video and I want these in my daily. So I'll probably end up testing them on the Eco Diesel at some point that also has the Alpine premium sound system. So that's factory amplified if I didn't already mention that. So 
If you guys put on your base model one without the amplifier, I can't really tell you what the results would be, but that is on a factory amplified system. So anyways, if you guys like this comparison, let me know what you think down below. Were you able to hear anything? Are you guys interested in this? Would you just try and go with a more expensive aftermarket uh, speaker? I know a lot of people have trouble trying to find uh, aftermarket speakers that match the ohm rating of the factory system without spending an arm and a leg. So hopefully this is a cheaper alternative for you guys. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Check out the other videos if you want to see any of our other stuff, including all the other stuff I mentioned as far as the dash swap and all that. And we'll catch you guys on the next video.